I think the best way to describe this Dragon Ball Super episode is that uh, you get a like, Formula 1 car, just put some more extra turbos on that, put a couple of engines, make, fuck it, put a, like a Black Matter engine onto it, and just make it go across time and space, because that's how fast-paced this episode was, and pretty much the entirety of this arc, because... Boy, oh boy, remember, like, in World five minutes ago when Goku went fucking, like, Ultra Instinct? Yeah, he just got that back again now. Trust me, it, it, it's fine. Don't worry about that. Hey, Kefla's punching things. This episode is so weird to me. Like, I've had, like, mixed real life responses. We talked, obviously, about the drama about it last time with them going Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 1, 2 in, like, a matter of minutes. And, obviously, the drama around that. And that's just the, like what we've got to have nowadays, like because we can't just have a hundred episodes dedicated to side characters going Super Saiyan, albeit it was the same problem in Z. Like this episode pacing is so fucking blistering fast. It is so out there and beyond. I'm like, d did I just skip ten episodes? It generally felt like that. It generally felt I skipped ten episodes of like content because it was going by so fast with the fight between like what we see of Goku versus Kefla. He's like, oh, Super Saiyan God isn't even enough anymore. Guess I gotta pull out the blue form. And Kefla's pulling out the Super Saiyan form, which is kind of like it's weird since her form is mixing in with the legendary Super Saiyan stuff that we've been seeing from Kale, so I guess it's stronger than normal because like from what we were guessing, like legendary Super Saiyan like Kale was pretty fucking strong, like or already and all that. It's like clearly she had a lot more power than what we got see from Cauliflower, but Cauliflower just had more like speed and mobility to her advantage. And from what I'm seeing from this is like the combining two is enough to take blue even Blue Kaioken, all right, all right, like these, fuck it, you just, like, just don't think about it. Also as well, a weird thing, this episode as well, they had like a weird guest, like, I guess voice actor or celebrity come out, because he's like, hi, I'm this guy, I'm going to show you the highlights of this episode, so he's just going to show you the best bits of the style of the episode of the new thing they've been doing. And I'm like, who the fuck are you, man? Like, who the fuck are you? Why are you here, my Fuck off out of my promo. <laughs> like, hey, let's just have a look at the cool shit. And he's just like, there, like, oh, I'm just going to do this bit to get my paycheck. See you later, guys. I'm like, what, what the fuck? It was so nothing. And I'm like, is that, like... Was there supposed to be, like, some Japanese fans there? Like, oh, oh my god, he's amazing, these secret lines. Even still, I don't know who the fuck this guy is, but I'm like... <laughs> there was nothing there. <laughs> like, all right, bye, guy. <laughs> like, promote your CD or whether the fuck you were doing there. But like, when I was going more into this episode and seeing more about this and just the amount of, wait a minute, Potara earrings are cheating. D oh, what's that? It's Tweedle D and Tweedle fucking God over there as they're like, nah, Potaro's cool, Fusion cool. I'm like, oh my fucking right. Right, Beerus, spin this shit for me, all right? Go to the two fucking twerps over there, and why don't you say, look at these cool magic beans. If we feed Goku, they're called Sensu beans, by the way. Like, trust me on these guys, you know. If we give these guys these beans, you will see some crazy shit, all right? You will see them go super power up like like no one else has like, ever seen before. And it's like, there you go. Go and sort that shit out, alright? Like, and it's like, boom. Alright, Beerus, sort that shit out. And, like, the way how people were flip-flopping, it was like, Beerus is like, no, nah, we don't need the Patara earrings. Oh, it's a roll now. Fucking give me those earrings. <laughs> and, like, I'm not gonna lie, I was laughing my ass off when I saw that. It was a good part of the episode. He's like, but just, it was flip-flopping all the way. And it was like, Oh, some people just aren't going to do it because they're like, ah, we don't need to do that. Trust that I'll put more episodes on some of these people. Oh, hey, some two random chuckle fucks. And it's like, all right. Like, at first I thought, oh, please don't tell me they're going to have fucking Vegito take this out or something on the mat. But then some people were like, this could be dangerous. We could lose two fighters at once. Two fighters at once. You the fucking, look how power careful is working. You've got some powerful fighters on there. This sounds like a bad deal to me. They still count. There's two people from where it's going right now, so fuck it. Like, it generally sounds, fuck it, just use the Pataro earrings. I think it just, like, the episode, I was more pissed off by just how inconsistent the rules are. It's not even that, it's just that they're being made up as long as it fucking goes. It's like, I would have been fine if the general tournament was, you gotta knock them off, and no killing. 
Those are the two rules. That should have just been it. Because generally, fuck the other rules. They've been fucking bending them. It's not... They've either been bending or cheating. So it don't fucking matter. Like, f like Frost could have just came in there with his poison shit again. And just get the job done. Eh, tss, 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 there you go. Job done. Alright. Where's my paycheck? Like... <laughs> so... And also as well, they have to cock tease it every time. Like, for these past few episodes. Where it's like... Oh, like, you gotta see Jiren. He's meditating, man. He's meditating. He's like... Oh, he's twitching. He's twitching. Is Kefla that strong? Like, is it that strong? I love the Saiyan girls, but fuck me. They, like, they are really ham... I feel like it's so ham-fisted how strong they're, they're trying to make these girls already. It's just like, here you go and all that. Even, like, Jiren's thinking of them as a threat. Like, ooh. Like, on there. And then, of course, Goku at the end. Bringing back Ultra Instinct. I Like, personally, to me... Goku shouldn't even have to use fucking Ultra Instinct to take down the girls, but, like, still, it's kind of cool to see again. I think since, considering it's five minutes in real fucking time, and also as well, it's very, uh, like, like very early still in the tournament, I just generally think that we shouldn't have done that. Not even early in the tournament, like, I think we got, like, 19 minutes left, but even still, it's like, I feel like this should have been a thing, like, that Goku fucking got maybe at the end, like... I still think how this tournament should have gone at the end, like, the Jiren and Goku fight should have been right at the end. Fuck it, it maybe Universe 7 loses. Maybe Jiren wishes for everyone to be brought back. Like, maybe that's his wish. He, clearly, he has a wish that he wants to do, and we don't know what that is yet. Maybe that is something like, he wants to bring back all the people that have been harmed by this or that. Like, like he could do some shit like that. But generally, like, maybe his pride of being, like, you know, a pride trooper is like, I'm gonna say they're everyone that was killed by the universe because you know Goku's a dickhead. Like that's generally how it is. But no, the tournaments go are still going on for that matter, and it's a shame because there are good bits in this episode, and there are, and there were good bits in last week's episode. I've mentioned that, and I don't want to be like a fucking like broken record, so I'm not gonna keep going on about too much of this stuff. But the same problems from last week are still here, and the same things I liked about last week are here. But the pacing is fucking ridiculous, and they have to do it, and I, it just takes me out of it sometimes, like, in the episode. I'm not gonna lie. That, and I think the rules generally piss me off. I'm just like, who, why the rules? Fuck them. Everyone just break it. It doesn't matter. Cool shit is happening. Like, that. that's all it, it needs to be said with Zeno. Oh, they're flying, they're the ching. Fuck it, it looks cool. Look at them. They've got lasers going on right now. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> overall oh like i don't think ultra interesting should have even come out yet like personally i think it's way too fucking early i mean it is showcasing how strong these girls are but I just, then again like it's the whole thing with the girls as well like it's like does he really need this to go against these two i think fucking god would have been fine but clearly not so I'm looking forward to the next, like, we. I want to see a little bit more of Ultra Instinct action. I think that's going to be the end of the girls as well. But still, it seems like we're... I'm kind of curious, like, how much longer this tournament has got, really. Because it seems like we've been going a minute at each, like, part so far. So, whether or not this is going to be a whole dedicated, like, 19 episodes left to the, the whole scene, I want to see what's going to be happening. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. I am mixed on this episode, but then again, it was me just, like, putting a review ahead for this one, and not more as a casual vet, which is so weird sometimes. Like, I can turn it on and off, but it was this episode that just pissed me off <laughs> on there. But what do you think? You think, you know, Beerus just, like, slipping some of those sensu beans in there? Because fuck it. Like, he should have just put had glowing lights on them, or do, like, a transformation scene on these sensu beans, because clearly everyone else wants to break the rules, so fuck it, it's fine. That's all for me, though. Thank you as always for watching, and I'll see you guys, though, next time.